Hello, my name is Roman Jindjihashvili, and we're about to start part four of the English opening. But before I do that, let me tell you something. English opening, it's a huge opening. English opening doesn't always start with a C4. It may start with D4. It may start with knight F3. It may start with G3. And every time white starts C4, this is not the English opening yet because it takes two people to play English opening. Black can transpose to E6, D5, which will be one of the varieties of either Queen's Gambit, Catalan, or Reti opening. So it's a huge chapter, huge opening, English opening. What I'm doing, I'm not covering entire English because that's what I will be doing for the next couple of years, doing only English openings. Now, what I am doing, I am doing my recommendation, my analysis, my updates from the very well-known variations well, basically my recommendations. And anyone who is interested in some particular variation that we didn't cover, if we have enough interest, I will make special videos on covering it if I didn't do it in my original series. So that's why what I'm doing is basically recommendation if you see some variation that is not covered in uh, our series then please address and we will see what we can do now after c4 i almost completely covered e5 and now i want to start with c5 C5 and E5 moves, first moves, they are not the only moves that lead you to an English opening. However, C5 is one way to play. What I would play, Knight C3 move is not as well recommended as Knight F3 move. And there is something behind it. On knight c3, when black goes knight c6, this is one of the rare cases when if white goes g3, g6, black can almost like 80-90% can copy white's moves and they are not going to get punished. For example, even a3, a6, rook b1, rook b8, b4, C, B, A, B, B, 5, there is nothing better for white than take on B, 5 and position is equal. As something like C, 5, black has good position after A, 5. That's why when you see games on a higher level, in this position, knight F, 3 is more popular move because Anytime black goes like knight f6, you can even go g3. Uh, if black keeps copying, this is a different story because white can go d4 and transpose to some of the varieties of English. Also, they can go in the black can on g3, also can go b6, knight c6 b6, as well as e6. We cannot just cover in one video all these continuations. So let me start with e6. It's quite popular move. Maybe in this position, maybe number one recommended move after g3. And in this position, I have something to offer you, something 
books may not offer you as detailed as I will now. D4, and in this position, we will cover only CD. Why only CD? There is a possibility of going D5, of course, but then we take CD and on ED, we go Bishop G2. We got Tarash defense. And this is known as one of the openings for black that loses credibility. And now I cannot go again. I cannot go through Tarash completely because this is alone is going to take me two or three videos. And again, if there is enough interest, I can do that. But move that keeps it English is CD, most popular move by far. Knight takes D4. And now Knight C6, Bishop G2 gives good position to white. There is also possibility of going Bishop B4 check on which we play Bishop D2. And we can look at that too, queen b6. You can even go knight b3 here. These positions are very playable and they are okay for uh, white. Also e3 is possible and then knight c6, bishop g2. This is all very well analyzed in any English book that you will find, book on English. So move, I want to analyze what was very, very popular many years ago, and it's popular now, if this position occurred. This position itself is not very popular because why it doesn't go for it frequently. But if this position happens, this move is probably the most popular. Bishop G2, E5, well, any other continuation, white has a very easy play. For example, on DC, you can go queen A4 check and take on C4. On something like knight C6, you can take C, D, E, D, and you have improved version of Tarash that is very good for white. So, E5, knight F3, and now e4 move is not very well recommended move. There is knight d2, very strong move, as well as knight d4. The best move is d4. Black gets pawn center. Of course, pawn on e5 is untouchable because of queen a5 check, and white loses the knight. So white castles, black goes knight c6, and this white goes e3. Now, what can I tell you? This position is a very old position, but there are some very fresh and very new ideas for white. Several continuations here for black. Bishop e7, actually three continuations, bishop c5, and d3. Well, let's analyze them in random order. It doesn't matter which way we start analyzing. Bishop e7. This was very popular variation. Ed, ed. Bishop f4. Strong move for white castle. Knight e5. Interesting that about 30, 40 years ago, this was a very popular variation. And sometime like 70 years ago, in a world championship matches, in a match tournament between where Botvinnik won and became world champion, it was played with a Keres, Fine, Averbach. There was some top players in the world. This was popular as well. And after 95, games were games continue like this. It was regarded as completely equal position. And K 
Keres, one of the best theoreticians of those of that time, was playing it for black, and he proved well proved in his way, but it was wrong proof that black is doing just fine. Knight g4, bishop f4, and it's known as g5 is bad move because white goes knight b3 and has big advantage. But knight e3, he played and game ended in a draw in two moves. Pawn takes, pawn takes, attacking knight on d2 and threatening e2. And after king h1, queen takes d2, queen takes d2, ed, bishop takes d2. They agreed to a draw. This is drawn position, it's right. But then, a few decades later, we didn't have computers there. If there were computers, computer uh, programs, we would have seen, computers would have seen the move that wins immediately. But way before computers uh, came on, Paul Ugaevsky found winning move. This position happened in his game. He played queen h5 and won like in a couple of moves. I don't want to go into details of this position. It's self-explanatory and very easy to follow. If e2 check, queen takes c5. And uh, there are virtually no move that can let uh, black continue the game. So this is losing. That's why bishop e7 move in this position lost credibility. And they came up with bishop c5 move. Well, as I said, there is bishop e7, bishop c5, and d3. Well, let's look at d3 for a minute. Now, what happens on d3? d3 gives white an advantage. Kasparov used to play when he was very young, before you even knew last name Kasparov, he was playing it. But white is doing very well after knight c3. And um, black has virtually only two moves here. e4 is not good, obviously, because knight d2 and e4 pawn will be lost. Bishop g4 and bishop b4. Well, let me show you two ways and white can get an advantage in both cases. Bishop g4, h3. Black simply cannot give up light square bishop because after knight d5, pawn on d3 will be isolated from the rest of the pieces will be lost and white dominates on light square. And if bishop e6, here, very strong move that I don't know if it was played e4, that guarantees an advantage to white. Black is forced to take on c4 because they cannot allow knight d5. After bishop takes c4, white has, however, big advantage. After queen a4, attacking the bishop and attacking e5 pawn, bishop a6, knight takes e5. Those are the best moves for both sides. Queen d4, knight takes c6, exchanging queens, taking on c6, and after bishop d2, position is very, very difficult, probably lost for black. Pawn on d3 is isolated, pawn on c6 is weak, e5 is coming, and black has very awkward piece disposition. So this is bad, bad position. And I don't, when I say this is bad position, it's not based on what I think about it because I analyze this position and I don't want you to take 
into details of this analysis because I don't think you're going to have any problem identifying this big advantage for white. So this is bishop g4 continuation. But most popular move in this position for black is bishop b4. This is not most popular position. And the reason is because d3 is not most popular move. It's not popular move at all. And the advantage white gets in this position is after knight takes e5. Knight takes e5 gives them clear advantage. Knight takes e5, queen a4 check. This is a peace sacrifice for white. Knight c6, bishop takes c6, pawn takes c6, queen takes b4, and d2. Black wins a piece, but loses the game if white plays correctly. It happened in one grandmaster game. Game ended in a draw because white made one seriously bad move. Bishop takes d2, that's how it happened, and those are the best moves. Queen takes d2, rook a d1, and uh, queen c2 is the only move. Queen d6, threatening queen takes c6 and queen d8 mid, obviously only one move, bishop d7, and very strong move e4, threatening e5. All that was played in the game. Black's only move is castling long. And now white plays. Now e5, knight e4, it doesn't do anything. Now white plays rook c1. And you see taking on b2 is not good because of rook b1. And there is mate on b8. And Black's queen has no better escape. So if bishop e8, then queen takes d8, followed by, by rook takes queen. And after rook c1, this all was played, knight takes e4. And grandmaster that was played with white, it was Gennady Sasonko, my good friend. He made a bad move, queen d4. He still had an advantage, but he failed to win the game. The correct move was queen a3, and uh, black is completely busted. However, queen d4 allowed some tactical shot, kind of knight g5, and if white takes queen, black has knight f3. And we don't wanna know what happened because there is queen a3 move that wins very easily. And that's why we have no need to analyze this position. So now this basically two, three variations that we have on the move that you very unlikely to see played against you. But bishop c5 is the most likely move. Now, after bishop c5, what we should do, ed, ed, and there is very tempting, but wrong move, rookie one check. It's very unlikely that rookie one check can be wrong, but it is wrong because black is gonna play bishop e6 and something like knight g5 is simply not recommended for white. They can win a pawn, but black is gonna have very, very strong initiative. There is knight d4 coming, queen d4, queen b6, f2 pawn weak. This is not the way to play for white. However, white has a way of getting big advantage. And it's interesting that it was played first in my game and I came up with it. And then I lost the game with the white because I made one horrible mistake, but I got completely winning position. We're gonna get to it. Knight d2 now is the way to completely refute this variation. Castle and knight b3. 
attacking bishop and indirectly if bishop b6 then c5 and then take pawn on d4 having completely winning position so queen b6 move is the only move and in this position if white takes on c5 black has very strong d4 pawn which is giving them enough counterplay knight takes c5 is a wrong move bishop g5 is correct move attacking the knight on f6 and after bishop g5 white has good size advantage knight e4 logical move and now we go rook e1 we are letting black's knight to take our bishop on g5 and we're gonna have very big advantage a knight takes g5 knight takes g5 now there is no d3 move because we can simply take the bishop first eliminating bishop takes f2 threat and then take the pawn on d3 so and this position too is already very bad in my game what was played h6 this is a losing move and i could have easily won i played knight takes f7 because that's the main refutation rook takes f7 now i did play bishop d5 this all happened and my opponent played now i'm threatening white is threatening bishop takes f7 then give queen h5 check and take the bishop on c5 and my opponent did play bishop f8 and i could have won in two moves in this position i failed to do that i could have won simply by bishop takes f7 every move is forced king takes f7 queen f3 check only move king g8 you don't want to go to g6 because you're going to lose bishop on f8 king g8 now rook e8 attacking the bishop which cannot be protected any other way than queen b4 then we simply disconnect that diagonal by playing c5 and uh, black can resign in this position i didn't do that and i lost the game however this would have won the game so now let's look what else can black do white is threatening knight takes h7 followed by queen h5 check and take the bishop on c5 natural move like bishop f5 and it looks like black is doing well then comes very unexpected and shocking move bishop takes c6 why would we give that bishop for that knight and regardless which way black retakes on c6 there is a rook e5 move attacking two bishops and white is easily winning black must go queen f6 not to lose whole bishop rook takes c5 queen takes g5 knight takes z4 white is completely winning so in this position it's already no good advice for black they are in a lot of trouble and it's hard to see from far away that this knight takes a seven threat is critical and black has no defense now let's go back to the position where it started as i already explained e5 is going to lead us to the variations we just looked d takes c will go to very good variety of a catalan for white so if black plays bishop e7 then we can simply go cd and if ed or knight takes d5 white goes knight c3 having good variety of Tarash defense where black took on cd without a reason 
they took on D4 without a reason. So if this is not good, then black should look for some other way to equalize after G3. And how are you going to equalize? B6 is not good. B6 is not good because you can go bishop G2 and after bishop B7, D5. This will give significant advantage to white because after ED, you can go either knight G5 and if knight is kicked, go to H3 and then you take CD or go knight F4 and bishop on B7 will be locked out by white pawn on D5. So then if that's what, if B6, that's what happens if black plays B6, then it's very difficult to give black any advantage. Whole different types of positions arise after bishop B4. We will analyze those positions, but I strongly believe that white has upper hand in every position here, in every variation, bishop D2. This is coming up next on English opening review and a video number five. Thank you very much and I will see you soon.